Hey guys, John Cannon for JJD Entertainment. Wanting to, I'll just do a quick video here to show you guys how to install multiple copies of either Serato DJ or Scratch Live or if for some reason you're still using Itch. Um, I always try to at least have two copies of Serato um, DJ or Scratch Live installed. Um, and if I have a beta, I'll go ahead and have three. And what I do is I have the previous release, which will be for this particular time and day, Serato one point or Serato DJ one point five point zero is the um, the the previous release that that was pretty stable for everybody. Uh, then the current release is Serato DJ one point five point two, and the beta that's currently out is Serato DJ one point six point zero point thirty eight eighty three. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and install these real quick, and I'm going to show you guys how to install multiple copies. So we're just going to start off with 1.5. Now, I've already downloaded these just to have them handy for the video, but all those are available at uh, serato.com. And if you want to get in on the beta, the beta is public right now. Um, today's February 1st, 2014. Serato DJ 1.6.0.3883 is available on the uh, Serato forums. So let's go ahead and install 1.5.0. We're going to go through this real quick. Hopefully it doesn't make me um, have to reboot my machine. So we're just going to drag it right over to Applications. And we see down here that it is installing. Okay, cool. So 1.5.0 is installed. I'm just going to hit Command N to open up a new window here. And let me go to my Applications. Okay, so in my applications now, you will see Serato DJ. Now, if I went ahead and I installed 1.5.2, what it would do is it would overwrite this uh, particular um, version of Serato DJ. So what I do here is I just go ahead and, and all you have to do to install multiple copies is rename it. So I'm going to name this 1.5.0, and, and I like to put PREV so I know this is the previous uh, um, version of it. So boom, that's it. So I'm going to close this guy out here. We're going to install 1.5.2. Okay, let's drag and drop it. You'll see now down here that um, it is adding it to the applications. So again, I go down here. Now you can click this once, get that box so you can edit it. But in the shortcut is just to press the return key. And the return or the enter or return allows you to edit it. So I'm gonna name this 1.5.2, and I just leave that as it is because that is the current version. And we're gonna go ahead and install the beta now, real quick. And drag and drop it over here. See it come down. Okay, so the Serato DJ. Now these I put beta after, and then I put the uh, current uh, revision to the beta that I'm using. And that's it. So now if we went to my applications folder, you know, just like we saw in the, the finder window, you can see the, uh, the different versions of Serato installed. Um, and it, it's simple as that. So I like to always, like I said, I like to have at least the bare minimum of having two versions, the current and then a previous version that I found to be stable, just in case there's some sort of update and, you know, maybe I wasn't using my dicers, for example, um, you know, at home, and then when I went to a gig plugged in and it started crashing with 1.5.2, you know, I, I knew that it was working in 1.5, so I could jump back to that version. So real quick, simple way to install multiple copies of Serato DJ. This also works for Serato, Serato Scratch Live. Um, and this doesn't affect anything with your uh, inside the music folders. Um, the underscore Serato underscore. You can have multiple copies installed and it, it all pulls from the same database. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions, leave your comments below. I didn't see a video on this on YouTube, so I know that you know when I first did this, I wasn't really sure how to do this so i hopefully it, it will help some other people so practice enjoy do your thing keep at it and uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys around the uh
the play 